What is good, YouTube? I am back with another big YouTube banger with y'all, y'all. So just so y'all know, today it is my second video of the day. It's your boy Miguel in the house. Yes, sir. So today I want to talk about what teams I think could get Victor Wimbenyama in the NBA, obviously. So Victor Wimbenyama, he is projected to be the number one pick in the 2023 NBA draft. What you will, it doesn't matter. Even if he's injured, it doesn't matter. And he is like the most, he's like the best prospect in NBA history. Better than LeBron James. And so what I wanted to tell you is that I got like around like a good, maybe like six to eight teams that I think could get Victor one bit Miyama. Number one, I got my favorite, for real bro. Okay. I got my favorite team, the Detroit Basketball Pistons, y'all. I got them. I think if they get Victor, man, it's just going to be two reps. Victor and Cade? Oh, my goodness. And then next up, we got the Charlotte Hornets because their season isn't that good. But I don't know. They might. They might not. And y'all, um, can Dude. Sorry. 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 So, yeah, because LaMelo Ball hasn't been playing like that. And then next up, I have the Orlando Magic because they are 5-12 and 12 and they are known for being on a rebuild, so they're not that good of a team. And they're around, I think they're the 13th seed in the East, which is not good, which, but it's good for them so they can try to get Victor because they're obviously tanking, and that's good for them. And then, obviously, I have to say the Houston Rockets because they were the worst team last year, record-wise. So, yeah. And the Lake, whoever has, and then next up, whoever has the Lakers pick, yep, whoever has the Lakers pick. The Lakers are 5-10, and 10, they're trash this season, they're going to be trash this season. And whoever has the Lakers pick, I have a chance, has a chance at getting Victor and Biyama. Next up, we have the San Antonio Spurs. They're on a rebuild. Um, Their coach is probably going to retire soon. So I hope that if they, that would be nice for them to get Victor, just for their coach to play with Victor one time and see if he doesn't want to retire still. Another option. Next up, we have Oklahoma City Thunder. They're obviously on a rebuild. They're pretty, they have a pretty bright future. They have Chet Holmgren coming back next season. They got Shea Goodrich Alexander, which is one of the best young stars in the NBA. He's averaging like 30 points a game, I think. So he's very good. Then they got Josh Giddy. He gets he's a pretty good point guard. Well, yeah, he's a point guard, I guess you could say. Because he gets pretty good assists out there. And then I got uh, a unicorn. I'm calling him the unicorn. I'm going to call him the pony. Yo, I'm calling him the pony. Alexej Pokusevsky. He is really good, but he's kind of streaky at moments like his, um, sometimes every other game. Like one game, he scores 15 points. The next game, he scores one point. That's the only bad thing about Alexis Pokuseski. Other than that, he's a really good player, and that's pretty good. That's pretty much a wrap of the video. And y'all, I hope y'all have a great day, so I will see y'all later.